Okay, so we will be discussing module 4, the circulatory system, which includes the cardiovascular system and the lymphatic system. Okay. So as I said, it is composed of the cardiovascular system and the lymphatic system. The cardiovascular system consists of the heart and the blood vessels, and also includes the discussion about blood circulation and uh, the electrical conductivity of the heart. While the lymphatic system consists of the lymph nodes and lymph lymphatic vessels, as well as the uh, circulation of the lymph. Okay. So, sa madaling salita, yung cardiovascular, ito ay may kinalaman sa uh, ating puso at sa mga uh, tinatawag natin blood vessels. Okay? Katulad ng uh, arteries, uh, veins, venules, arterioles, and capillaries. Okay? And also about the uh, blood. Okay? Then lymphatic system naman. So ito ay binubuo ng mga lymph nodes. Sa Tagalog ay kulani. Okay? And then mga lymphatic vessels. So sila ay parang mga blood vessels. Yung nga lang ang dumadaloy sa kanila ay mga, ah, ay yung tinatawag natin na lymph. Okay? So, ano ba yung limb? So, later, ay i-discuss natin. Okay. First is, we will be discussing the heart. So, what is the heart? So, it is the principal organ of the cardiovascular system. Okay? It is located between the lungs with its point or apex directed toward the left. That is the normal uh, position of the heart. Okay, you can locate the apex of the heart in the fifth intercostal spaces and the mid line of the um, of the left clavicular line. Okay? So, sa madaling salita, matatagpuan natin yung apex ng ating heart sa near the, ni the nipple area of our um, left chest or left uh, nipple. So, doon yung apex. Okay? So, ang apex nasa baba. Okay? Kabaliktaran siya ng apex ng lungs. Ang apex ng lungs nasa taas, ang base ng lungs nasa baba. Ang apex ng heart nasa baba. Okay? So there are four chambers of the heart. Okay, we have two atria and two ventricles. Okay? Ano pang meron sa heart? Okay, the heart also have four valves. We have the tricuspid valve. Okay, between the right, the, the right atrium and the right ventricle. And we have the pulmonary or pulmonic valve or pulmonary semilunar valve. Which is between the um, right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. Okay. Ano pa meron? Meron pa tayo itong bicuspid valve or what we call the mitral valve. Okay. Located between the left atrium and left ventricle. And of course, the aortic valve or aortic uh, lunar valve is located between the aorta 
and the left ventricle. Eh, nakikita niyo pa sa image yung mga sinasabi kong parts? Okay, so... Yes. Okay. Of course, uh, bukod sa four chambers and the bulbs uh, located in the heart, so, meron din, syempre, the heart is an organ, so, siya ay composed of tissues, of muscles, cardiac tissues. Okay? So, meron tayong mga layers of the heart. Okay, first is the myocardium. Okay? It is the thick muscle layer of the heart wall. Myocardium. Okay? Myo means muscle, cardium means heart. Tama ba? So, nasan ba yung myocardium? Okay, so, basically, myocardium, yung heart wall. Then, we have the endocardium. It is a thin me membrane that lines the chambers of the heart and covers the valves. Okay, so, siya ay endo. Ang sabi na endo. Nasa loob, di ba? Inward. Cardium. So, within the heart. So, siya ay lining ng mga chambers of the heart as well as the bulbs. Okay. And next, we have the epicardium. Epicardium. Okay, same siya ng endocardium. Siya ay thin membrane or uh, layer okay, of the heart wall. However, it is located or it is the outermost layer. Kaya siya ay epicardium. Then, of course, we have the pericardium. So, pericardium is a fibrous sac that surrounds the heart. Okay, so, siya ay fibrous sac na susurang sa heart. Okay. Okay, now we go to the blood flow. Ito yung pinapamemorize uh, ko sa inyo. It is the blood circulation. Okay. So, the, the oxygenated blood okay, will go or will pass to the superior and inferior vena cava. Okay. Going to the right atrium. Okay. And from the right atrium, it will pass through the tricuspid bulb. Going to the right ventricle. The right ventricle will pump the deoxygenated blood towards the pulmonary artery, passing through the pulmonary semilunar bulb. Okay. And from the pulmonary artery, okay, the deoxygenated blood will pass or will go to the lungs where it will undergo the gas exchange. Then after the gas exchange, the, the oxygenated blood from the lungs okay, will pass or will uh, uh, go to the pulmonary veins okay and then we'll go to the left atrium from the left, left atrium the oxygenated blood will pass to the mitral bulb or the bicuspid bulb so uh, going to the ventricle and then the left ventricle will pump the deoxygenated de blood to the aorta, pass into the aortic bulb, and from the aorta it will be distributed towards the rest of the body. Okay po, yan po yung, yan po, ganyan po ba yung ginawa nyo? O pinahirapan ng sarili mag-memorize? Okay, so, and as easy as that, you can uh, explain or you can uh, 
recite the, the blood flow to the heart okay or the um, pulmonic circulation okay so later uh, i will yes po Pwede din po ba i-ano ito ang blood flow to the words na nakalagay po sa book na yung one to one to four yata po siya? Sige, mamaya ano natin yan. Sige po, sige po. Okay, so ito yung blood circulation, okay? So next we will discuss the electrical conduction of the heart. So ito po lang, sige. The blood tension from the right hand to the lungs. I am off with you. Good job, Elise. What's up, Elise? What's up, Okay, so next, the electrical conduction of the heart. Okay, so the SA node, okay, or the sinoatrial node, okay? it will, uh, uh, it is the first pathway of the conduction of the heart. Okay, when we say conduction, electrical conduction, it is the pathway where the heart, uh, wherein the heart is stimulated to uh, pump, to contract. Okay? So kung wala po tayong SA node or kung hindi functioning yung SA node natin, so yan yung pinapalitan, yan yung kinakabitan ng uh, device, may isang medical device na tinatawag natin na artificial pacemaker. Because the natural pacemaker of the heart is the SA node. Okay? So, sinoatrial node. Okay? And then, the, the uh, conduction will travel to the AV node or the atrioventricular node. Then, after the atrioventricular node, okay, it will go to the bundle of his or the AV bundle or atrioventricular bundle okay, commonly known or mas, uh, uh, mas kilala bilang the bundle of his okay so ito na yung bundle of his okay, this is the bundle of his okay Atrioventricular, then it is between the atrium and the ventricle. Okay, next. After that, the electricity will go to the left and right branches of the bundle of his. So, ito yung left, ito yung right branch ng bundle of his. Okay? And then, lastly, kapunta sa tinatawag natin ang mga Perkin J fibers. At itong Perkin J fibers ng mga ito, ito yung talagang magbibigay or mag stimulate sa ventricles para mag pump ng blood. Okay? So, ito lang yun. Follow this process for the electrical conduction of the heart. Okay? So, pag wala tayo nyan, pag walang nangyari electrical conduction of the heart, so what will happen to the body? Okay? It will exist. Oh, it will cease to exist. Kasi hindi magtapamp yung ating heart.
me. So in connection with that, is um, uh, blood pressure. Okay? So we have the diastole, which is the relaxation phase of the heart cycle, and the systole, which is the contraction phase of the heart cycle. Okay? And then we also have this term, Korotkov sounds. Okay. The Korotkov sounds, ito yung naririnig natin sa stethoscope na labdab. Labdab, labdab, labdab. Okay? Ang tawag doon ay Korotkov sounds. Okay? So it is the arterial sound heard through a stethoscope applied to the brachial or the brachial artery distal to the cuff of a spigmo manometer. So kapag uh, kumukha tayo ng uh, blood pressure, so yun yung naririnig natin. Na tunog. Okay? Ang tawag doon again, it is the Korotko sound. So may mga phases yung Korotko sound in order for us to identify if the, the particular sound is the systole or the diastole. Okay? Questions? Okay. Kung wala, next na tayo, blood vessels. So the blood vessels are part of the cardiovascular system. Okay? So we have five groups of blood vessels. Ano po Tagalog sa blood vessel? Ugat. Ugat nga ba? Yes, pwede ugat. Maraming ibig sabihin na ang ugat. Pwede blood vessel, pwede nerve, pwede lymphatic vessel. Ugat ang tawag. Dalo yan, dalo yan ang dugo, sir. Pwede po. Dalo yan ang dugo. Sige, pwede. So, arteries ang pinakauna. So, what are arteries? So these are blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart. Okay, and towards the tissue. Arteries. Also, arteries, okay, it carries oxygenated blood. Except for the pulmonary artery. Why? Ano bang kinikerry ng pulmonary artery? Deoxygenated blood. Diba? It carry... Bakit siya? Eh, sir, bakit artery siya? E kung ang, ang dinadala niya is deoxygenated blood. Eh lahat naman ng, ox, ng arteries dinadala ay eh, oxygenated blood. So bakit ganon? Okay? The term, kaya nga yung definition niya ay carry blood away from the heart and towards the tissue. Diba? Yung ating pulmonary artery, it carries the deoxygenated blood away from the heart and towards the lungs. Okay? So may exception tayo sa to the rule. Sa rule na lahat ng arteries at arterioles ay nagkikerry ng oxygenated blood. Okay? Next, arterioles. So these are small subdivisions of the arteries that carry blood into the capillaries. Okay. So, kumbaga, pag, nag, pag nag-branch out yung arteries, so tawag doon sa maliliit na uh, arteries ay arterioles. And as arterioles, magkakaroon pa yung mag-branch out pa siya sa mga maliliit na branches, na ang tawag na doon ay capillaries. Okay. And these capillaries are tiny, thin walled vessels that allows for exchange between the system. So dito nang gaganap yung exchange ng nutrients, oxygen, etc. So, pag nagkaroon ng exchange, yung oxygenated blood na pumasok sa capillaries, nalabas siya sa kabilang side as deoxygenated blood. Okay. At ito naman ay mapapunta sa venules. 
Okay? So venules are small vessels that receives blood from the capillaries and begin its transport back towards the heart. So venules. So from this uh, point onwards, the oxygenated blood na yung tinatravel niya or yung kinikerry niya. Okay? So yung si venules, maliliit na veins. Okay? And then, we have with the veins. So veins, okay, ay vessels okay, that transport the blood or that carries the blood okay, away from the tissues and towards the heart. Okay. So, ano naman ang exemption? So, lahat ng kinikerry ng, ve ng veins ay deoxygenated blood maliban sa pulmonary vein. Bakit? Kasi ang kinikerry ng pulmonary vein ay oxygenated blood. Okay? So, may exception. Okay. And also, the difference between a vein and an artery, ang vein po ay may mga bulb. Okay. May mga bulbs that prevents leakage or backflow. Okay? So, yan. Oxygenated blood, artery, arterioles, then capillaries. Okay? Then papunta sa capillary side ng venule, okay? And then vein. Okay, so next. Now we proceed to the lymphatic system. Anong role ng lymphatic system? It is to return excess fluid and proteins from the tissue to the bloodstream. Hello din sa'yo. Hello. Magmaritas muna tayo. Sorry po sir. Ayun, tapos na tayo magmarites. So let us continue. Okay, so lymphatic system. So again, ang kanyang function is to return the excess fluid and proteins from the tissues to the bloodstream. Ay kumbaga, ah, uh, ang function, kaparehas ng function niya yung capillaries. Yun nga lang, itong lymphatic system, meron siyang sarili niyang uh, vessels. Okay? May sarili siyang network na kung saan uh, doon niya kinukuha yung mga excess fluids and proteins. Okay? So, the fluid carried in the lymphatic system is called lymph. Okay? Lymph yan. Uh, hindi ko alam kung anong Tagalog ng lymph pero siya ay fluid na ito yung binabalik sa bloodstream okay? ito yung uh, usually kapag may di ba kapag may infection tayo namamaga yung ating mga 
lymph node, so yung mga kulami. And uh, okay. ito yung mga waste material na dinadala sa bloodstream through the subclavian vein. Okay. Siyempre, ito naman ay uh, madidispose to the excretory system through excretion. Okay. So, next is the lymph nodes. So, these are small masses of lymphoid tissues okay, with function to filter the lymph that passes through it. Okay. So, lymph nodes. Ito yung mga kulanay natin. So, kaya, kaya kapag siya ay namaga, so that means merong infection. Okay. That means merong uh, waste na na filter or uh, meron siyang sinasala. So, saan pa matatagpuan yung mga kulani natin? So, sa likod ng tenga, pababa. Pababa sa may leeg. Papunta sa may armpits. Ay ganun din sa lower extremities. Meron tayo sa may singit. Pababa sa lower extremities. Okay? So, the lymphatic system includes the tonsils. Okay? which is located in the throat, the thymus gland in the chest, and the spleen. Can you point out kung nasa ng inyong thymus gland? Or meron pa ba kayong thymus gland? Kayo ba ay may tonsils? O oh, pag nagkakasakit kayo, sinasabi nyo, may tonsil ako. Okay. Pag, na, pag uh, may infection sa tonsils, so ang tawag doon, tonsillitis. Namamaga yung ating tonsils. Okay. Yung ating thymus gland, so it, it is located sa chest, at habang tayo ay nag age or Uh, nagmamature, tumatanda, nawawala yung ating thymus gland. Okay, and of course, the spleen. Okay, it is unlocated on spleen. It is located near the pancreas. Ano Tagalog sa spleen? So, Tagalog sa gallbladder, abdo, sa liver, atay. Sa pancreas ay ano nga sa pancreas? Tagalog ng pancreas, lapay. Okay, anong Tagalog ng spleen? Tagalog ng spleen? Okay, anong Tagalog ng spleen? Pali. Pali. Okay, so let us continue. Now we go to the uh, roots for the heart. Okay, so syempre isa sa mga una na pag-aralan natin si Cardi, which means heart. So cardiomyopathy, which means any disease of the heart muscle. So may asterisk, so sabi, this term is preferred over myocardiopathy. Okay. Though acceptable yung myocardiopathy, okay, mas ginagamit po ng ating mga doctors yung term na cardiomyopathy. Okay, next is the atri or atrio, meaning atrium. So, syempre atrium. The example is atriotomy. Surgical incision of the atrium. Then we have the ventriculo or ventricle, which means cavity or ventricle. Okay, we and the example is supraventricular, which means above the ventricle. And we have the valvo or valvul, barbulo, which means valve. So valvectomy, 
so surgical removal of a bulb. Okay. So next we have roots for the blood vessels. We have angio. Okay, when we say angio, vessel, ang meaning. So angiopathy, any disease of the blood vessels. Then we have vaso, vasculo, also meaning vessel or duct. So vasodilation, meaning widening of a blood vessel. Next is artero or arterio, which means ar artery. So we have the uh, uh, example and arterial or within the within an artery. Then we have arterial. So arterial yung ano niya, um, meaning and the example is arteriolar pertaining to an arteriol. Then aort or aorto which means aorta. Then we have the term art, uh, aortoptosis. Aortoptosis Okay, which means downward displacement of the aorta. Okay, we have next the vein or vein, vein or veni, which means vein, venous, which means pertain to a vein. Okay, then we have pleb or plebo, also may, uh, means vein. Plebectasia means dilatation of a Vain. Okay, do you have any questions? Okay, wala question. Roots for the lymphatic system. So you have the lymph or lympho, okay, which means lymph or lymphatic system. So lymphoid resembling a lymph or resembling lymph or lymphatic tissue. Then lymphadeno, which means lymph node. Okay. Example niya ay lymphadenic. Tommy. Surgical removal of a lymph node. Then we have the spleen. So limpanjo muna pala, limpanjo. Okay. Limpanjo means lymphatic vessels. So example is lymphanjoma. Okay, tumor of the lymphatic vessel. Okay, then we have spleen or spleno. Okay, next. Ang kanyang example ay spleno, splenomegaly. Enlargement of the spleen. Then thymo or thymus gland. Atemia, absence of the thymus gland. Okay, next we have tonsillo, which means tonsil. Okay, then the example is tonsillar pertaining to the tonsil. Okay, so we have the cardiovascular disorders. Okay, so kindly read cardiovascular disorder. Sige po. I'm Marisa. An optimized abnormal dilation of blood vessels 
vessel, usually an artery, cause many weakness of the vessel wall, which eventually burst. Okay, next. Angina pectoris, a feeling of constriction around the heart or head that may radiate to the left arm or shoulder, usually brought on by exertion caused by insufficient blood supply to the heart. Okay, so angina pectoris. So, ito ang mga aming sa tinatawag siya as AP. Okay, when you hear the word AP minsan sa uh, mga... ER, so when si AP, yun, may, na, uh, may nararamdaman ng pasyente na chest pain and usually it is related to a heart condition. AP or angina pectoris. Okay, next, arrhythmia. Yes, please. Arrhythmia, any abnormality in the rate or rhythm of the heart Literally knows without reason. Also called this rhythm. Okay, arrhythmia or dysrhythmia. So, ano ba yung mga klase ng arrhythmia natin? So, meron tayo mga uh, okay, next. Formation of sphincter. Yes, please. Atherosclerosis. The development of atherosclerosis. Fibrous touches or plaques in the lining of arteries causing narrowing of the lumen and hardening of the vessel wall. The most common form of arteriosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, root or vessel means porridge or fluid. Okay, so atherosclerosis is uh, may deposit ng plaques, pati plaques sa uh, lining ng arteries. Okay? At uh, nagkakos ng hardening. Okay, next. Okay. The body cardia, a small heart rate of less than 60 bits per minute. The body cardia. Then we have the cerebral vascular accident. Commonly known as stroke. Okay, sige, pakibasa. Hindi pakibasa si BA. Sotong damage to the bone causing some reduction of blood flow. Causes include atherosclerosis, invalidism, trouble sleep, hemorrhage, hemorrhage, aneurysm, common cause stroke. KCBA, cerebral vascular accident, it is uh, most commonly known as stroke. Okay. Then next, clubbing. Sir. Okay, so due to the poor blood circulation sa uh, um, extremities, so nagkakaroon ng clubbing. Okay? So, cyanosis, okay, we already uh, tackled that. This is the bluish discoloration of the skin. 
due to the lack of, lack of oxygen. And next we have okay, deep vein thrombosis. Okay, so next, DBT or deep vein thrombosis. Okay, so well, plebitis sa uh, uh, isang deep vein. Okay, next. Diaporosis or profuse sweating or sweating. Ito yung laging pinagpapawisan. So, ganyan ako. Kahit hindi naman sobrang init. Pawis na pawis. Punting galaw, pawis. So, diaporosis. Okay, next is dissecting aneurysm, please. Yes. Dissecting an aneurysm, an aneurysm in which blood enters the arterial wall and separates the Next item, dyslipidemia. Dyslipidemia. Okay, so dyslipidemia, so it is a disorder that involves the level of uh, lipids in the blood. Okay. Okay, so next is dis uh, dyspnea, so difficulty or labored breathing. Then we have edema, edema, swelling of body tissues caused by presence of excess fluid in the tissues. Okay, so yun yung edema, hindi siya basta-basta pamamaga. Iba yung maga na may pain, ang edema walang pain. Ang edema ay uh, swelling pero kapag siya ay pinindot mo, okay, hindi agad-agad bumabalik yung ating skin. Nababawasan yung kanyang uh, elasticity. Okay? Okay, next please. Embolism. So, embolism. Anong pagkakaiba ng embolism sa thrombosis? What is the difference between embolism and thrombosis? Thrombosis. 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 Th
kung saan ba yung nakikiri out po siya sa reservation tapos ang trombong is naman po siya po yung mismo yung development plan po mismo ng uh, blood clot sa low po ng blood vessel or ng vessel po So, yung, em- yung embolism, obstruction. So, may blood clot. Pero, ito ay nasa blood vessel na. Dumadaloy na siya sa circulation. Okay? Pag sinabi embolism, there is all, there, mayroon ng blood clot na dumadaloy sa blood circulation. Pag sinabi naman na thrombosis, okay, nag, uh, nag, meron lang na uh, pamumuo ng plak okay, ng uh, ano bang pwedeng ano, sa, uh, uh, fat deposits or plak sa lining ng blood vessel at pwede itong magsangi ng pagkakipot ng blood vessel at kapag uh, makipot ang blood vessel ang nangyayari tumataas ang pressure ang blood pressure okay so ganun din may kaibahan ang embolus sa uh, thrombus so can you differentiate thrombus from embolus Okay. Okay, so very good. So pag sinabi natin embolus, ito ay moving. May moving siya. Siya ay nasa blood circulation na. Okay? Siya yung nagsisirculate na blood clot. Okay? So, kapag yung blood clot na nagsisirculate, bumara sa isang vessel, ang tawag na doon ay embolism. Okay? On the contrary, yung... Uh, ano ngayon? Embolism. Thrombus. Yeah, thrombus. Yung thrombus, siya ay fat na nag, uh, nag-accumulate sa wall ng blood vessel. Okay. Siya ay uh, nandun lang, nag-accumulate. So, ang tawag doon ay thrombus. Ngayon, kapag siya ay namuo na ng mao ng mao at uh, nagdilate or nabarahan ang blood vessel, so ang tawag doon ay thrombosis. Okay? Thrombosis. So next, we have fibrillation ah, fibrillation Okay. Fibrillation is spontaneous, quivering or ineffectual contraction of my muscle fibers as in the atria or ventricle. Okay. So, yun. Binibigyan ng stimulation yung contraction. Then heart block. So, it is a system of the heart resulting in arrhythmia. Parang block out, di ba? Okay. So next, for heart failure, cessation of the ability of the heart to maintain adequate blood circulation. 
then uh, lactone and hemorrhoid, okay, hypertension. Okay, so it is a condition where the <coughs> condition where the uh, <coughs> blood pressure is higher than the normal range or normal value. Okay. Then uh, we have infarct. Infarct is an area of localized necrosis of tissue resulting from a blockage or narrowing of an artery. Okay, so next, we have the ischemia. It's a local deficiency of blood supply caused by <coughs> obstruction of the circulation. So, that means kapag mayroong um, thrombosis, so pwede magkaroon ng ischemia. Kapag may ischemia, pwede rin magkaroon ng infarction. Okay? And then we have the more more. It is the abnormal heart sound. Pag may abnormal heart sound, ang tawag doon ay more more. Hindi na siya crotcop sound. And then we have the MI or the myocardial infarction. Most commonly known as heart attack. Okay? So, ayan. It is the localized death or necrosis of the heart muscle or cardiac tissues or muscle. So heart attack yan. Then of course occlusion of meaning obstruction. Then we have the disease uh, what we call uh, patent duct, uh, ductus uh, arteriosus. So this is a condition wherein Uh, hindi nagsasara yung yung uh, passageway between the artery the pulmonary artery and the, the, the descending aorta so kasi nung tayo ay mga baby pa, nung tayo mga nasa nasa sinapupunan pa <coughs> yung heart natin may mga butas yan between the chambers of the heart so normally nagsasara siya when we get older hanggang sa may pangalak tayo dapat sarado na siya ngayon there are some people na hindi nagsasara so ang tawag doon sa condition na yun ay patent ductus arteriosus. So yung anong, eh sir, ano naman pong mangyayari kapag ganyan ang uh, condition ng isang tao. So remember na mayroong opening between the uh, pulmonary artery and the descending aorta. So, ano po ba ang kinikari na blood ng pulmonary artery? Okay, very good. Uh, how about, anong blood ang kinikari ng aorta? Oxygenated. So, kapag magkaroon ng mix between the, aort, the oxygenated and the oxygenated blood, so what will happen, madadilute yung oxygenated blood madadilute yung or kokonti yung madideliver na blood or na oxygen sa mga tissues, sa systemic tissues. <coughs> so yun yung nagiging problema ng isang tao na may patent doctus or arteriosus. Okay? So next is we have the phlebitis, inflammation of the vein. And then plaque. So ayan. Plaque, hindi yan yung ina-award. Hindi yan ay... <laughs> pwedeng uh, namuo na fatty deposits or uh, 
Um, isang uh, mga yung mga sebo-sebo na namuo sa ating blood vessel. Okay. That uh, it can become a uh, thrombus or an embolus. And then of course we have the RHD or the rheumatic heart disease. So this is a heart infection caused by a streptococcus. So nagkakaroon ng damage yung ating heart bulbs. And ano ba ang function ng mga bulbs? The function of bulbs is to prevent backflow. Okay. So Okay, next. Shock. So shock, maraming klase ng shock. So, ano bang shock? It is a circulatory function or failure resulting from inadequate supply of blood to the heart. So ang tawag dyan ay cardiogenic shock. Kapag ang shock ay caused by a heart failure. Cardiogenic shock. Bakit cardiogenic shock? Cardio means heart, genic means an agent of initiation or origin. So, yan. Dahil nag-start sa heart ang problema, ang shock. So, so ay cardiogenic shock. Then we also have hypovolemic shock. So, from the word term hypovolemic, hypo means low, then volemic is Uh, condition also condition of low volume or blood volume okay kapag marami ng blood loss okay so mag undergo ng shock ang ating body and ang tawag dun ay hypovolemic shock Okay, so next is stenosis. So it is the contraction, constriction or narrowing of a opening. Okay, then stroke, so CBA, the syncope. It is the temporary loss of consciousness caused by inadequate flow of blood to the brain or painting. Syncope. Okay, so ano pa? We have tachycardia, thrombophlebitis, so inflammation of the, ba of the vein, okay, related to uh, thrombus or uh, with formation of blood clot. Okay, so next is, okay, ito na ano natin kanina. Thrombosis and thrombus. Okay, lymphatic disorders. So we have lymphoma. Okay, so, so siya ay isang uh, neoplastic disease of the lymphoid tissue. Then lymphadenitis, inflammation of the lymph nodes. Okay, next is lymphangitis, inflammation of the Lymphatic vessels. Okay, then lymphedema. Swelling of the tissues with lymph. Okay, so that ends our discussion for today. Okay, so any questions?